she secured a fight with Hearns whether he could take these kinds of punches. Byron has decided to try to assert his strength as a natural middleweight over Hearns, and at least in that round, he didn't. And now Tommy Hearns has a target. Pull it, pull it. And the key man in this fight can now be the corner. Hagler comes out with a quick right hand. It is not a pace that can go on for 12 rounds. There's no question about that. Regardless of how well conditioned these two are. That's a foot. You know, the first round, these guys did not use no, their boxing no, no, no. skills. They just went in there and just unleashed all kinds of punches. They were off balance. This time, Hearns, second round, Hearns is pretty much using his skill. He's boxing. I believe, as Larry Merchant said, that both men have taken the best shot of the other. I was on the top of the head. That's the punch I'm looking for to Hagler pretty much landing on Tommy. The hook. Because Tommy has a tendency to lean back. And Hagler comes with that looping... Right hook. There is a swelling under the eye of Marvin Hagler as well, and also a little bit of blood under as well as over it. There's a left hand by Hagler, backs Hearns up. Again, Tommy is more so the one-punch knockout, whereas Marvin is an accumulation of punches. There's another straight right hand. That one also hurt Thomas Hearns. Hearns backs up, gets his breath, and comes right back. Hagler has been effective with the right-hand lead. I like Marvin's tactic so far. He's walking his man down. Keep those hands high. Thomas Hearns fighting a very effective fight so far. He has Marvin Hagler cut. Well, cut is really more above the nose than it is over the eye, although it can cause him problems. There's no question about that. There's also a little blood behind. What Hagler wants to do is get time to get the ropes. Tommy's moving. He's he's really off balance. He's not moving with out. good balance. Out. 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 Step out. Step out. One minute remaining here in the second round. <laughs> Hearns leading with the right hand. Both now, men leading with the right Tommy's hand. Tommy's put both feet together. Very dangerous. Look at him. He's off he's balance. He's awkward. He definitely is awkward. This is when Hagler needs to throw that hook. Tommy's standing right in front of Marvin. Hearn said he had to keep that foot outside of Hagler to be effective with the jab. That was a hook. Good left hook, and Hearns left his feet. Hearns no, is hurt. That was a hook game, Barry. Hearns, Hearns is definitely hurt. He is definitely hurt. And now this is when Marvin should take control. Hearns was holding Marvin Hagler's right hand there. Now he tries to fight back. Takes the right hand. Takes the left hand. Hearns against the ropes. He's on rubber legs. Another good right hand by Hagler. Now this is when Hagler really goes to work. shouldn't be here against the ropes. Trying to weather the storm here in round two. Big round for Marvin Hagler. Hagler was really on with it. Watch Tommy Legs as he walks back to his corner. Whether he's steady. A little rubbery leg. Once again, Marvin Hagler hit her in some of his best shots. But there, the accumulation of shots seemed to have some impact as that round wore on. Got him cut up bad. Hagler getting the jab in early here in the third round. 
He hasn't used the jab much. He's gone with a right hand lead. He's throwing punches off his back foot. Oh, Tommy oh, just uh, held Hag on his head, which meant that he really doesn't know where he is. Tommy Hearns occasionally, at least to me, Ray, just looks to be awkward. He just seems to get his legs tied up. Well, he really is awkward uh, because of his height advantage. And now we're going to get a moment for the doctor to come in as that cut just opened up. of Marvin Hagler, and let's see if he just doesn't try to do some serious business or just get through that jab of Hearns is effective even though he's throwing it off the back foot. A good right hand by Hagler drives Hearns into the ropes once more. Tommy can't take too much of this. And again, it's a matter of accumulation of punches thrown by Hagler, which is probably wearing Tommy down. I'm sure Marvin feels that he has got to hurry things up here because that cut is not going to get any better. There's no question about it. Right hand! He's up at nine. He doesn't 